Senator Louisiana is recognized for two minutes. I want to thank the gentleman from New Jersey for yielding. And Mr. Speaker, I rise in opposition to this conference report. There was language in this bill that was stripped in the conference report that would have directed the Corps of Engineers to pursue a much safer level of flood protection for the New Orleans region. Our entire delegation, Republicans and Democrats, were unanimous in support of the language that was in the bill, and the conference report stripped out that language, which would have directed the Corps to pursue a much safer option than the one they're currently pursuing. If we haven't learned anything from the lessons of Katrina, it's that the federal levies that failed us before cannot be rebuilt the same way they were the last time that they failed. There's too much taxpayer money that's been put at stake for us to get this wrong. And so we much more support the option that would have actually made sure that the Corps gets it right for all the money that's being spent, as opposed to the route that they're choosing right now. Option 2A, which was the language that we have, would have directed the Corps to pursue, is known as pump to the river. According to the Corps' own report, pump to the river, this option 2A that's being thrown out by this conference report, is more technically advantageous than the one they're currently pursuing. It's more operationally effective than the one the Corps is pursuing. It provides greater reliability, and most importantly, it further reduces the risk of flooding. That's the option that our entire state delegation, that our governor's office, that all the people back home, the city of New Orleans, the parish of Jefferson, fully support. An option that reduces the risk of flooding. That's what we should all support after what we saw happen during Hurricane Katrina. And yet that language that we had unanimous support from our delegation that was in the bill has now been stripped out by this conference report. We need to learn from the lessons of Katrina, and it's time this administration stop paying lip service to our flood protection needs and actually put its money where its mouth is and do the right thing as opposed to making the same mistakes that were made in the past. We cannot afford to let them go forward with building an option that by their own admission is much less reliable in protecting the people of New Orleans from future flooding. So I rise in opposition and General I yield back time the balance of my time. Gentleman from Arizona. Uh, Mr. Speaker, in response, I have to tell you that the conferees on the uh, House side, the managers, the House managers, were united on this front and as well as the uh, chairman of the uh, other body's uh, committee, and we felt that the alternative that was desired uh, did not provide additional protection, and it would have delayed the permanent protection of New Orleans by anywhere from 18 to 36 months, which we thought it was too long of a period of time to keep uh, New Orleans unprotected. and. The cost, we believe, it would have been three to four billion dollars more, and so for that reason, we felt that, uh, in in fairness, that we should continue with the program that the Corps has for uh, New Orleans. Uh, at this time, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to yield three minutes to the distinguished member of the subcommittee, uh, Mr. Berry. Gentleman from Arkansas is recognized for three minutes.